Hey, what's up everyone? Um, some of you may have heard that uh, Bitrider has released a custom uh, firmware for the Yinlips YDPG18. It's uh, pretty nice. It uh, takes away a lot of the bloat. It's overclocked um, to 850 by default. Um, it is fully rooted, so you don't have to perform the root steps. And um, things seem to run a lot better. Um, I haven't had any problems with the double button pressings and everything else like that. I still haven't checked for the combo bug yet. I will be testing that and I'll let you guys know what happens. So first things first, what you're going to want to do is you're going to want to back up everything because this tutorial I'm going to show you guys how to just erase everything and start from scratch. You're going to need to sideload your apps if you do it my way, but it seems to work the best. So download the um, update.zip from the link in the description and install it, um, just copy it over to a SD card that you have. Make sure it's blank. Um, you can do it without it being blank, but it's just safer to make sure that that's the only file on that disk. Once you do that, you're going to shut down your yen lips. And once it's shut down, you're going to boot into recovery. Now, remember, you need to have the update.zip on the root of your SD card. Best recommendation, make sure nothing else is on it. All right, to boot into recovery, we're going to do the menu button, the home button, and the power button. Hold them all at the same time, and you'll see it say, upgrading, please wait. Okay, like I said, I wipe everything clean every time I install a new ROM. So I go down to Wipe Data Factory Reset, select Yes, Delete All User Data. Then go down to Yes, Delete All Media Data. Then I also wipe Cache and Media Partition. Then I go down to apply SD card dot, um, colon update dot zip. It'll search your SD card for the update dot zip package and then it'll verify it and then install it. Once it's done installing, select Reboot System Now. The Yinlips will not reboot, it'll just turn off completely, so you have to manually restart it just by pressing the power button. Once it boots up, it goes back to stock and asks you to. Uh, Calibrate the touch screen.
and that's it. It's been installed. Uh, by default, it, the language is set to Spanish. So just go into settings, browse down to the letter A, press start, and then select the first option and plus start, and then select your desired language. If you go into your apps, um, you notice you have hardly anything. You do have the market. Um, the market version on here is very old. So I'm going to show you guys how to uninstall the market using Titanium Backup and install the um, newer version of the market. Okay, to install the new updated version of the market, you're going to want to go into App Installer and sideload um, Titanium Backup. If you're unable to install anything, uh, make sure you check unknown sources under applications uh, options. Once it's installed, go ahead and select open. It'll ask you for super user rights. Click on, I mean, check the remember button and then say allow. Just say okay on the welcomes and everything else like that. Then select backup and restore. and then scroll down to where it says market. Select it, um, select it, and then press uninstall. Select yes. It'll say, are you sure you want to install? Say yes again. And it'll uninstall. Now what you're going to do is you're going to put My Market um, APK on your SD card and go back into App Installer. And if you notice, it says that it's already installed by indicated by the uh, star there. Select it like you would install it it'll say the application will be uninstalled. Just go ahead and say OK. And it'll uninstall it for you. Select OK again. And then select the market. And reinstall it. Now you have the newest version of your market. All you have to do is select Open and it'll say you must add an account to this device to continue. Do you wish to add one? Select yes. And then set up your Google account like you normally would and as you saw in my other tutorials. That's about it. Um, next thing you want to do is uh, sideload your emulators and um, configure them and you should be all set.